DIY prep versus professional rug cleaning, which one should you use? Well, that's a, it's quite a difficult one to answer. I have looked into it myself, but I'm going to let the absolute professional who knows everything. I'm going Whoa, to steady. I, I know a lot, but knowing <laughs> everything, I'm not sure about that. Uh, thank you, Tracy, for having me here. Um, so let me get it right. Your question is DIY cleaning for rugs yeah. or professional cleaning for rugs. Yeah. Which one's better? Which one's better? Okay. So let's delve into that because I want to help people with some advi advice so that when they watch the video they can go away and go, well actually I learned something from that rather than, oh, they all only said we need to take it to a professional. Take it to a team. professional, we don't need to. That's frustrating when you watch <laughs> a YouTube really video is. about that, isn't yeah. it? So let's talk about the different types of rugs and which ones are better and which ones are more risky to clean yourself. So first things first, if you imagine the volume of water you're going to put on a rug when you clean it properly. Um, this means that you're probably going to take it outside and you're going to put a hose pipe on it and you're going to get water out of it. You're going to totally soak it with water. And you're going to put a brush on it and gently brush it and wash it out, right? That's probably quite extreme. Rare people would do that, but it can be done. Yeah. Now, in a case like that, I would advise you look at your rug and go, is this a handmade rug or is this a machine-made rug? Because a machine-made rug is much more robust in most cases to those things but you need to also consider that it needs to be a woven machine made rug not those that can some can be tufted and glued back in the backing it needs to be a woven machine made rug in most cases that should be fine but you need to also test the colors make sure they're not suddenly going to move because if you get it wrong and you think it's a machine made rug it's actually a handmade rug the colors can move and then we have color bleeding then you have color bleeding and all sorts of things so you know you get to know your rug and you get to know well actually last time there was a flood and the rug floated in the water and the color didn't go anywhere so I should be okay that's fine but if but you have a precious rug yeah. and you're not sure of this rug then you can you know give us a call or send us a photo and we can help you with that and most rug cleaning companies would help you it's not just us if yes you, absolutely if you're anywhere else in the country and you happen to stumble on this video hello nice to meet you <laughs> um, but but as Pierre said, there are many places you can go and take your rug to, not just us. But yeah, exactly. asking the question, sending a picture to them just to get their their advice probably is... Yes. So now, of course, I need to warn people again that when you put that volume of water on your machine-made woven rug, which you know won't colour run, then it's important to remove as much of that water as possible. So in a case where you have a wet vac a vacuum machine that can suck water it. out so that's a wet vac machine you can remove some of that moisture using a wet vac machine and then hang it over and preferably you want to hang it over something with a big diameter so you don't hang it over the washing line because that's going to fold it very sharp and it's going to leave a line oh. on the rug when it's dry and you put it on the floor it's going to have a big sharp edge to, edge it. to it but if you hang it over a round pipe that that's big you know curving round nicely so it dries and when it lays flat on the floor it's going to be much better that way so you can do it that way of course the other way is getting going to rent a rug doctor and you can use a rug doctor to gently clean the rug or you can wet the rug and these you use a rug doctor to just extract that water out. but the rug doctor is not going to be as powerful to remove loads of the water but it's still better than not doing it at all removing would, the water is important absolutely i would advise do not go soak the rug and then go well what would i do now I do it? <laughs> that's a bit of a problem think it through think it through right i'm going to wet the rug i'm going to rinse all this out and what do i do next well actually i'll have this machine to extract the water with so you can do that um, and then hang it somewhere where it would stay out of the rain and it would dry over time. The water would drip out of it. And as I said, a nice big curve where it goes over the curve where it hangs to dry. Uh, the other thing you can also do is if you hang your rug over that pole, hang your rug at a slight angle. So your rug is not hanging straight down like that. Your rug is going to hang it slightly left like this. And then clip a cloth onto the corners at the bottom because then the water runs to that corner and the dirt runs into the cloth and not make your rug dirty. Oh, that's a really good tip. So that's the first thing I would say. Of course, the next step is consider, yeah, the rug is not that bad. I'll just use the rug doctor and then hang it again in the same sh form um, outside somewhere out of the rain um, and then let it dry. How long should it take for our rugs to dry? It depends also. I would also advise that if you have a thick, chunky rug like this, I would advise against 
soaking it with water, it would never dry. Never dry. But if you have a thin pile rug that would dry quite quick, then it's probably okay to do it. And you probably will see a few days for the rug to dry. And it's best to hang it somewhere. Either with the summer now, it's quite dry, you're sure it's dry, hang it outside. But of course, try and keep it out of the rain. That's what I would say. Um, and it should just not lay flat because what happens when you dry the rug flat is the mold growth that can happen under the rug. Which you definitely you don't, don't want. want. So you really want to hang the rug to dry. Um, so that's if you want to do the rug yourself. Of course, send us some photos. We can give you some advice and see how we can help with that. Um, other than that, so you've got the soaking the rug, otherwise using something like a rug doctor to clean the rug with. This is if it's a machine-made rug, preferably a woven rug, because you buy some rugs that's tufted, which means it's a sheet that the, 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 the pile has been stuck through to, and there's glue that holds the back. So if this rug is soaking wet, the glue gives up and then the pile falls out, so you need to consider that too. Now that's one side, and when would you give it to professionals is when you look at the rug, you just go... I don't know it's, what to do with it. You don't know what to do with it, or it's a very precious rug. I'm not sure if it's a machine-made or a handmade rug. Especially if it's like a, it's been passed down. Yeah, exactly that. Yeah. <coughs> also, the important thing before you start cleaning, and that's actually, we left this out, very important before you start cleaning, if you do it yourself, because that's what we'll do when we take your rug in, is get the dry soil out. So turn your rug upside down. Use your vacuum cleaner that's got a beta bar, upright vacuum cleaner with a beta bar. Vacuum the rug with the back of the rug, because this shakes the dry soil out. So you imagine ah. this, right? So that, <laughs> that, can you do it again? <laughs> so that is your rug shaking. Yeah, it looks like a hand, but it's a rug. So it falls <laughs> out of the rug, yeah. rather than that. That's never going to happen. Oh, I see what, yeah, I see. You see because if you the vacuum will hold it all Yeah, so there, it sits works. in the bottom of the rug, and if you do it like that, it shakes it, it, shakes out. it out. So you pick the rug up, and you see all the dust on the floor. That's how we do it. So we've got a special machine where we feed the rug in and it beats the rug. That's why they put it in the machine. Um, I always wondered why the backing always goes on the top and the rug's on the other Exactly. Bottom. You see, see I learned why today. you do the marketing and we do the cleaning. Yes, exactly. <laughs> that is the exact reason. Um, but yeah, no, oh, I, I didn't understand. I, I've always seen it going in the machine. We have like a lovely, and it makes a lovely noise as it's going through. And I always, I always say to the boys, be careful of your fingers. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, that's true. Because it's got these rubber rollers, <laughs> yeah. which pull it in. And yeah. you don't want to get your hand, no. hand beaten and get the exactly. dust out of your hand when it so goes So I didn't know, I didn't realise that's the reason why they put it in upside down. Yeah, so that's that right. Can dust. So if you yeah. do your own rug, turn it upside down, give it a good vacuum at the back really slowly. And then turn it to the front, give the vacuum. Um, and then once that's done, you can then start the cleaning process. If you're unsure, give us a call. If you do go down the professional route, if you look at the rug and go, well, this is a valuable rug, I'm not sure, uh, then it's best to give us a call or give a professional in your area a call again. Come back to the National Carpet Cleaners Association. Tracy, you'll probably put a link in I this will article. actually, I will link them down below. Sorry. And then uh, they either call them or look on the site and they can professionally re recommend a professional that can help you with your rug. And uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I would recommend. Um, so that's that's yeah hopefully i will also goes. there'll be a link down below to a uh, blog that we've already written to show you what happens in a rug studio yes so you can see you've seen what you should do with your rug yourself and then you can go and have a read and see on yeah. that video on that blog what what happens in a rug studio yeah in case you have a rug that you think oh i'm not sure i'd rather yeah, just get in some case. advice but then, and then again you can see what any profession most professionals We'll do the same thing, they'll all have the same machines. So. Yes, yes. Oh, so I hope that helps. Yeah, Thank I'm sure you. it does. Thank you very much. Okay, bye, bye for now. <laughs>